Do you like my YouTube videos? If you do, please leave a comment and actually click on the like button. And if you want, you can hit subscribe. That way you can stay up to date with all my YouTube videos. Hey, and go ahead and click that bell icon to be notified. Thanks. Take care, guys. Simba, wake up. <laughs> He's waking up. He's like, what the heck was that noise? Aye, wake up. Look, his eyes are closed. Simba, what, what, where have I gone wrong in my life? I am going to be making a full video about poop. Ah, hi, good morning. I'm sure that's what you wanted to hear. Simba, I'm going to be making a full video about poop. Yeah, uh, Reptile Rescue Family, what am I doing wrong? Just guys, have a warning for this video. There's going to be multiple forms of poop. Because I have to clean because everyone pooped. But I need to talk about how important it is. It's very important if you have a reptile to understand its poop. And to understand what you're looking at. That way you can know is your reptile healthy or not healthy. And are you feeding things that are good for your reptile to eat. And unfortunately I think this gets overlooked a lot. But we can understand a lot without vets without tests, without all these exams, what's going on inside the reptile by its poop, which is really, really good. Yes, yes. This can be hard when you have a reptile that poops in the water though, because the water will wishy-washy the poop, especially if you got more than one or then they splash around it and after, but it's still important. So I just pulled a small sample of Simba's poop Normally he poops in the water, but sometimes he keeps pooping as he walks out. Don't ask me why. So then some poop is there. That's important to know though. But let's get the first thing out of the way. It's important to know, is your reptile, does it have diarrhea? Does it have excess water? Is everything you're feeding it passing through? Or is everything feeding it digesting the way it's supposed to digest, right Simba? Not just digesting, but the way it's supposed to digest. So we're gonna look at a sample of Simba's poop, which I grabbed from right there, and I've put over right here, because I have to disinfect that, disinfect this, drain that, that's for after the video. But starting with Simba, we know he eats primarily bugs, and so we wanna look for those bugs passing through his system. We want to make sure it's not getting colitis or diverticulitis or anything. We don't want anything sticking to the inside of his intestines. Uh, we want everything to be passing through. So here's Simba's poop, and let's break down a reptile's poop. Typically, it comes in three portions. Sometimes people will say two. Uh -uh. We're going to look at three because there should be the stool, the urate, and then Sometimes there's liquid urine as well. Think of urate as solid urine, calcium and everything. Um, urea just forming into a mass. White, normally white, sometimes can be yellow. The longer it stays in the track. And then stool. But here's what's key, guys. Warning, no gloves for this video. There's the Simba's urate. We know he's passing urate. That's good to see. We want to make sure he's hydrated. But here are some things I picked out of his poop. You know, Simba eating roaches, if you're feeding roaches or anything with a hard exoskeleton like that, normally they can't digest these fully, so you will have roach pieces in the poop. This is important to see, because you want to know that the bearded dragon has t system, has broken up those roach pieces, digested the inside, the soft sides, and then we'll see things like wings. Wings are typically always done. This is why I advocate every once in a while to feed the giant male dubia roaches because you want to get those wings going through the intestines, not digestible, grabbing on to anything that's stuck in the intestines and just pulling it all out, right? This is insoluble fiber. It cannot be digested. Move it through. Move along. So this is important to look for. Hydration, moving through those guts. Good. You know, Simba's was a little bit half and half because he poops in the water. But if you have something like a snake that doesn't poop in the water, although this snake usually does, but not always, when you feed your snake, same thing. If you're feeding your snake big rats, especially large rats, it should be normal. You should. What can they not digest? Sometimes they can't break down the teeth and the feet and the nails. Sometimes they can. But the big thing is the fur. You should be seeing fur in the mass of the snake now snakes can 
from time to time, especially after they eat a new meal, pass just urate or urate with a little bit of poop. In this area, this is where she cle cleared off. We see there's a urate with just a teeny tiny bit of poop at the end. This is not something to be alerted about. This is just the snake had some leftover room. Uh, this was left inside after a big, you know, bathroom trip she had done. And she had pushed this out. So this is not from the last feeding. This is from the feeding before that that was left over. So she clears it out after she ate. So it's very normal for when you feed a snake, you feed them, they take a big poop. You know, that's from the food. You feed them the second time and after they've eaten, they may have some remnants that they need to get rid of. And normally those remnants are in the form of urate. Normally just pure urate. Um, large urate, small urates. It depends on the size of the snake. But every once in a while there'll be a teeny amount of fecal matter along with that urate. That's nothing to be worried about. That's normal. Now we have a bearded dragon. Right here, Phoenix. She's just waking up. <sighs> Clementine though went to the bathroom this morning. And small bathroom, it was bug day two days ago. So we're just gonna have a small piece of stool here with urate attached to it, right by this guy right here. And this is important because this is made up with a bunch of, I can see, I don't know how well you can see, ro again, those outside skeletal pieces of the roach uh, and the legs. And then the white here is the urate. Now this, knowing my bearded dragon, this is kind of like the snake effect. This is not all she's going to go to the bathroom today. This is like phase one. Then she's going to take a big dookie later on. Yeah. So we'll get that cleaned. We'll move on. So again, it's really, hi guys. It's really important to know and to look for and to make sure your rates are passing, not just stool and to make sure stool is passing and not just your rates. Now, Smog and Ventress, they decided to take a crap sometime during the night. <sighs> there it is. I have to go through it. I know. Oh, man. But still looking, we can see, like, the brown mass over there. This is not diarrhea. This comes out in full masses. But there's two lizards. They're in and out. They're huge. It can't be easy. But we can see there's darker matter back there. That's the stool. We can see there's urate up here. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Now... The other thing, though, I need to look for for these, and I am going to insert a clip, is from time to time, I feed huge pieces of chicken with bone in, including drumsticks with the full leg bone. So it is important that not only do I check the water, but it is important that I check the water, um, not the water, excuse me, the substrate nearby the water to see if the act of climbing in or out after going to the restroom, if they're passing any bones. Uh, that's very important. Now, I don't know if you saw over there, but I just grabbed it. There is a bone um, from when I was feeding thighs with bone in. And <clears throat> there's a bone that was, was uh, passed. These are important to look for. They're important to get. Uh, and... It's common that they don't digest all of the bones every time before they go to the bathroom. And that's okay. I'm going to insert the clip of sometimes what I find from after they eat drumsticks. Now, here is another thing about when you're feeding meat eaters things with bone in, and this doesn't get talked about enough. If you're constantly finding a bone, especially if it's completely undigested, or if it's just barely digested, that could be because the monitor lizard is not basking enough. And you want to get to the bottom of what's going on, because remember, the basking is what stimulates the digestion. So what I had noticed before is they really like the smaller heat mat when they want to focusly digest. Because they, can, they don't have to heat their whole body. They can heat just the stomach. They can sit there and digest. While smog is huge, sometimes he takes up the whole thing. And then Ventress can't digest all the bones. So if you're passing full bones, maybe they're sick. 
or maybe they just didn't bask enough. Whether they it was too hot, the basking spot may have been too hot, so they don't stay on it long enough to digest because their body reaches its full temperature and they go to thermoregulate and therefore they don't bask enough. So sometimes maybe you have to teeter back on that basking spot heat to get them to bask for longer. Today, I'm gonna to show you guys why it's important to always check after your giant lizards have eaten something with full bones in it, okay? Here's Smog, my male black throat monitor, and here's Ventress, my female black throat monitor. Hi, hey guys. Now, Smog eats two full drumsticks, no problem, fully digests the bones, great. But up until a while, I had been breaking down Ventress's bones, chopping them up with the meat on them, because she's much smaller. They're sexually dimorphic, female, about a third of the size of the male. These guys are just about adult grown, 98%. Okay, so, they've eaten... They've gone to the bathroom, I have to clean their water, and it's time to check. Now, keep in mind these, this lizard's digestive tract, stomach, intestines, it's all a straight line. There's none of this boop, 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 coiled back and forth. So they can pass through things that are extremely long. And in the wild, they'll eat bones as well. That's normal, but we want to check for digestion. So, this is Ventress's first time with two drumsticks with the full bone. So when we go around, normally, do you guys notice anything? I'll give you a minute. It's in frame, and I'll even get closer, because I don't know how well the camera picks it up. It's still in frame. You can probably see something right there. What do we have here? The knuckle. But I bet you this is a full bone. Look at it moving. Yes, she has pooped out, um, I guess almost a full bone. We see some, some digestion took place here and got some of the marrow, but pretty much this passed through her and her body digested all of the meat off of it and then crapped this out. Now, there was another one. Put this up there because she had two. And if she pushed that one out, She's got to have pushed, oh, here it is. There's the other one. Okay, now this one, way more was digested. This whole inner piece. So she's she's starting to break down these bones. Uh, but it's really important to see how your monitor's doing. So she is just not ready yet to take these full, these full chicken bones. Which is not bad. We know we'll, uh, we'll split them in half when we feed her, and that will give her more time. These won't be as long, so they'll sit in the stomach for longer. Uh, the stomach will break it down more because their intestinal tract, it's really short. Stuff is right out, so you've got to really make sure the stomach can break this stuff down. Your wife crapped these out. What do you think about them? Pissed already, huh? <laughs> All right, guys, take it easy. There's a lot of things in play when it comes to digestion, and it's not always illness. So in their case, it was a little bit of a, a basking temperature issue, and we can just tweak that dial a little bit and get it settled. But if you feed uh, something with ribs, a breast, you know, that has ribs and a bunch of bones... If the thing is loaded with bones and you find one little small bone like this, don't worry about it. I'm not worried about this at all because they had a ton of meat and it was loaded with bones and it's really good calcium for them. Um, but you do want to look out for big bones or if you're feeding whole prey, large portions of that whole prey not being digested. Um, same thing if you're feeding dubias, large portions, whole dubias being pooped out that aren't digested at all, or sometimes when you feed eggs, there had been the time where I fed Simba some infertile eggs, and literally later that night, he just pushed his body, purged every single egg. It didn't even look like it, anything had happened to them, right? They're completely undigested. His body wanted nothing to do with them. And so doesn't mean that he's sick. 
just means that that's what he doesn't like to eat and he doesn't digest well. Um, I feed these guys squash, yellow squash, and you can tell sometimes when they're at the limit that squash has is, is got a lot of fiber and they'll go to the bathroom and you'll see one or two pieces of undigested squash even though I fed them, you know, 20 pieces each. So that's a good digestion. There was just some leftover that they didn't feel they needed to digest. Now, if they were to push out all of the squash, then we have a problem. Uh, thankfully, they don't do that. Hopefully, this has helped educate you guys a lot. And I know some people will find this gross, but especially if you have any type of reptile, you know how important it is to know what healthy stools and uh, urate samples look like and to know is your reptile getting the full benefits of the nutrients that you give it. Sometimes people have found too, if you put too much supplement on the food or on the bugs, the body kind of gets to a limit where, oh, I don't need any more of those vitamins this week. And so it's going to purge everything through it because there's just got so much supplement on it, which is why you shouldn't heavily supplement. It should just be a sprinkling. Um, so then it's purging because of the supplement, but because it's purging because of the supplement, it's purging the food, which they do need. Okay. I think we've rambled enough, huh? I've got to clean. Lynx pooping his water. Nala's pooping their water. Your guys' is poop. Simba's pooping the water. Look at the list. The list is just going on. Oh, thanks for the souvenir, though. The Someone will surely call this forbidden toothpick. I don't know. That happens all the time. Forbidden candy corn. Forbidden potato chip. I don't know what's wrong with you guys. Um, leave me a comment, though, if you understand how important your pet's poop is. Not just reptiles, even if you have a dog. But, heck, even even infant children, right? Babies, newborns, you, you want to see what's going on there. How often do they do it? The consistency? How's the digestion? I don't know. This is a video everyone's always like, how do I know if I'm getting good nutrition? That is the way to know. Take care, everyone. Thank you guys for supporting my reptile rescue family.